Good morning, everybody. We are leaving Moncton, New Brunswick. We're headed up to Grand Ends, New Brunswick, in northern New Brunswick, like we thought. Picking up a load from up there, bringing it down to Maryland, USA. Someone in Maryland has bought something from here. We're gonna bring it to him in our box. From there, it sounds like they're gonna send me down to Georgia and then home, but you know, that could change. For now, we know that we're going to Maryland. Miramichi Bridge, still here and standing, good to see, good to see. Once again, it's been a little while since we've crossed over this thing. Trying to make it up to our customer here before they close. I think they shut down shipping at 4 o'clock and we're going to get there at about 3 o'clock. So we should be in the clear, it should be good. That way we can send our customs papers back to uh, the office in Central Time, which is it's only one o'clock there then. And they can have the rest of the afternoon to get these, uh, get the load cleared to cross the border. And then hopefully we can get into the US later tonight yet. At least get very close to it. I mean. See where we're at. I like this town though. I've stayed here many times. Many times. It's actually gotten better. There's a they've updated a lot of the buildings that I've seen. Been a lot of updates in New Brunswick. All these truck stops have uh, really stepped up their game. It's good to see. You know, I'm sure on what few nice days they have out here in northern New Brunswick. It must be pretty beautiful out here. Right on the water. Just they have so much miserable weather up here like they're just troopers for sticking it out you know they settled here and you know what they're gonna stay here look at this beautiful right on the right on the river what is that is that a church that's a church it's interesting northern new brunswick has a uh, acadian roots i believe they're a group of people french speaking different from Quebec, as far as I know. But very nice people up here. Oh, that guy's got firewood for days. Yikes. You need some firewood? That guy's your guy. I wonder if it's for sale. get very bad weather coming off this water over here all the time. I know they have a, uh, a ton of snow here in the wintertime. A ton. Like a four foot snowfall is nothing. That's just, that's just another winter day. So we're being loaded up right now. And you notice the lack of straps and chains I'm using? Diesel. All I gotta do is go and close the doors and we're off. Feels like we should do more than that, right? I'll have to make sure the freight is secured. I'll probably put two straps inside the trailer just to make sure that it doesn't fall back, you know, but other than that, we're good to go as soon as we're done here. They've just been like racing in and out of the trailer though, uh, loading me up. I hope that they're not going to put more weight than they're supposed to in there. I'm supposed to make sure that they don't put any more than 42,000 pounds in the trailer because we have uh, a bunch of extra equipment on these trailers for special specialty loads that uh, they're a little heavier than the average dry van. So I have to make sure that, uh, usually we can haul 44 to 45,000 pounds, but in these trailers, I got to keep it to around 42,000 or lower. I mean, they were supposed to know that, but uh, I guess because of the social distancing virus and everything going on, they want to interact with me as little as possible. So I've been trying to get their attention. 
I have to stay in my truck. I'm trying to get their attention to tell them, hey, only 42,000 pounds, but they're so busy. They're just like on a one track mind. So at the end of this, <laughs> hopefully they won't have to take some off. I wish they would have at least come to talk to me and interact with me a little bit first before starting, just to say a little hello. This is what you're getting. You know, how much weight can you put on? But no, I uh, just backed up to the dock and boom, 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 they started going. Rough. This place and kind of a big mud lot. They were actually not even in the office. They're uh, uh, minimizing their time at the office here. So no one's in the office. So when I got here, I had to call a phone number and then they came in to load me. This whole virus thing has got everybody so on edge and so scared and so filled with fear, you know? It's gonna take a long time for things to, uh, for people's mindset to go back to normal, I think, because they've been, they've been so scared, put into such a big state of fear over this, you know, like worldwide. And, uh, you know, can't blame them for that. Can't blame them at all. But just for everything to, for that to get out of people's minds, that, that may never leave this generation's mind, you know. It is what it is. We're going to keep trucking, though. And hopefully he's not going to put too much weight on me and have to take something off. Hope he comes and talks to me before he parks his forklift, at least. I mean, he's got to bring me paperwork sooner or later, right? And then I've got to look at the paperwork, and I want to... Before they print the paperwork off, I want to make sure that the weight is right. right? <sighs> we'll be okay. We'll be okay. At least we don't have to chain it down. <laughs> uh, I paid my dues, I guess. <laughs> this is a lot easier. Okay, we're golden. Uh, I got I got his attention. Uh, we got to keep our distance, but I can sort of yell at him from a distance or talk loudly. And uh, just let him know, hey, I can only take uh, 42,000 pounds, apparently. And he already knew that, and uh, they also have a scale on site here, so we're going to scale myself before leaving the yard. Which is awesome, because a lot of these places that we come to in northern New Brunswick to load, the load is always very heavy. And a lot of them don't have scales. And the closest scale to here is three hours away. So if we're overweight, we drive three hours there, and then have to come three hours back. i got to follow him now. they put way too much weight on the drives and it's you can't account for it by sliding the axles forward any further so there's way too much weight in the front of the trailer so he's got to rearrange the freight uh, but this truck you know the only criticism I had of this truck was the transmission right and this sort of ties into that as well uh, the clutch is so jumpy it's very hard not to slam into their dock uh, because you just feather the pedal right and you just want to slowly ease towards the dock but it wants to grab right away and just wham slow you I've been able to avoid slamming the dock here but I can just it's really hard to get a smooth smooth reverse you know I'll have to get used to it it's just it's truck I'm not used to and transmission I'm not used to but it's kind of annoying you guys experienced that in automatic transmissions before too they're just they want to grab and just go a little bit too hard. It's very hard to just sort of feather it. We're all loaded up and locked in. Oh, the lights in the back are on. Okay, let's go. We're at 78,400 pounds. Gross, and we're allowed to be up to 80,000 pounds gross in the US. Of course, as soon as I start rolling, that's when our new message arrives. It's just how it works, right? You are cleared to cross at Holton, Maine. That was fast. Wow. I hadn't even left yet. I will say thanks. But they know I got the message. Okay, there we go. Let's give her. 
Maryland. Haven't been to Maryland in a long time. We're back here in Salisbury, New Brunswick, and I'm gonna go over the cat scale here. It's the closest scale to where I loaded, other than the scale at their yard. But honestly, that scale was, uh, well, I wanna double check it on a certified scale. I'll just say that. The scale they had there was a little dated. It's a little bit older. So I'm gonna go and double check, make sure that I'm all good here. I don't need to adjust my axles or anything. And then I can have peace of mind that I'm not gonna get a big ticket. Like I was telling you uh, before or yesterday, these big stops, they are amazing truck stops. If you come to New Brunswick, you're gonna have to stop at one. Uh, they're in New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and uh, Newfoundland, Labrador. They're like a maritime truck stop. They're better than Flying J, and that, like I was saying last time, was a huge, huge compliment coming from me because I'm a big fan of Flying J. But for me, my Flying J fuel card works here, the one we use, so. Well, gotta wait for this guy. Let him see how big he is first, and then I'll get on the scale. I'm not going anywhere right now, Karen. I don't care what you say. I'm the boss. And we're gonna check to see how fat we are. We gained a lot of weight today. Pretty impressive for that old scale back at the at the shipper, eh, Diesel? I'm allowed 12,000 pounds on my steer axle. I'm at 10,940, we're good. I'm allowed 34,000 on both my drive axles and my trailer axles, 33,820 and 33,600 for a total of 78,630 pounds gross. That's full of fuel. Not bad, not bad. Who's over there, Diesel? Who's over there? I think it's one of those creatures they call a dog. Pretty sure, mate. Very similar to a weasel. So we made it into Maine, USA. And it's pretty dark and late by the time we got here, but we're just getting ready to start our next day, so that means we gotta start tomorrow's vlog. Hope you guys tune in for that. It should be a lot of fun. We're headed down around the whole New York area, down the east coast of the US through New England. It's gonna be, well, seeing as there's not as much traffic on the road right now due to this current virus and situation, uh, Maybe we'll have uh, maybe we'll have an easier time getting through. There's only one way to find out. You'll have to tune in on tomorrow's vlog. Hit that like button, hit the bell so you don't miss it. If you want to see it early, there's a good chance it'll be on Patreon for the patrons. Videos are posted early there as soon as I have them uploaded. You could get them a couple of hours early or you can get them up to seven days early. Whenever I have them put together and ready, before I even put a thumbnail or title on them, I put them up on Patreon for those people there to see it early. Uh, link is down below in the description. Other than that, I'll see you tomorrow.